I personally have not ever used a dump station before. Why we were seeing here at this particular KOA in Willits, we had water and electric and we did not have um, a sewer. So we need to dump before we go. Um, <laughs> our family, man, I'm telling you what, we, we probably don't really try hard enough, but we were here for two days and we filled up the gray immediately, almost immediately. So we definitely need to dump before we head out. And since I personally have not ever used a dump station before, you know, Ben usually kind of does all of that before we head out. I wanted to do it today just to be able to say that I've done it, kind of just know what to do if I ever need to do it on my own for any reason. So as soon as we get up to the dump station here and have our turn, um, I'm actually gonna do the dump thing <laughs> for the first time today ever. Uh, just because I've never done it and I want to be able to say that I've done it and also know what I'm doing if I ever am in a situation where I need to do it for whatever reason if Ben's not around. So stay tuned and we'll show you my first time dumping but also walk you through some tips on how to use a dump station. So I'm going to put on gloves because this is stinky business. Oh, sticky compartment. All right, so first thing I'm going to do pull out the stinky slinky hose here and uh, our rig has this thing at the bottom so I'm going to run this up through the bottom and make sure that this is connected good and tight here before that we do anything else make sure I've got a good tight connection there okay next we're going to pull this out You're pretty close here. I'm going to put this on. Now, we have this clear elbow, because that way you can kind of see what's coming out, but also some of these you can twist, like this I can twist. Twist it in here, and it gives me a little bit better seal, but see, somebody else put these rocks here. So I'm gonna put these rocks here too to help, because sometimes when this comes out, there's a lot of force that it comes out with. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, Ooh, this is scary. I'm gonna pull the black. Icky, icky black. So let's pull this. Ugh. Make sure it stays put. Oh, gross. Icky, icky black. But actually this clear elbow is nice because you can see what's coming out and make sure that everything comes out first. So I can watch and make sure that everything that's supposed to come out is coming out. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the gray after I've made sure that the black's fairly empty. You can hear it kind of right now as it's draining. And then I'm gonna pull the gray next to kind of flush that out. So now that I can see that there's nothing else in this clear elbow, which is that's why having a clear elbow is nice. Now I'm gonna pull my gray. Now our gray was super, super full. And I can see it's flushing out all that ickiness that was black. And I can see the water starting to change color now to more of a gray. All right, we're about done here. A little bit more coming out. Now this is super important. Make sure you close your tanks. Rookie mistake that people make. Super gross if you don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close my black first. Make sure that that's closed. I can still hear there's a little bit coming out in the gray. I'm gonna give this a little bit of help here. Make sure all this is coming out. So now I'm gonna close up my gray. So now those are closed. Now, I'm gonna pull this off and I'm gonna bring it down through here. And then I'm still gonna leave it connected. There's still some in here. But, straighten it out a little bit. Now I'm gonna come over here and all dump stations have a water spigot. So I'm gonna turn on the water here for my faithful assistant. And we're just gonna rinse out the hose. 
after we get all the stinkies out. Nobody wants the stinky slinky in their basement. We'll rinse this out. Rinsey rinse. Alright, that's probably a good short rinse. Okay, now I'm going to kind of compact this up a little bit as I go just because I'm slightly OCD. And I like things nice and organized. Make sure that that's all empty. And then if you're in a campground like we are today, see this has created a nice, whoops, I don't fine. wanna That's fine. not bring my donut. Okay. If you're in a campground like we are today and you got a nice line behind you like we have right now, I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna put this back in here. One important thing, this little cap here, put this cap back on. This is kind of like your oops cap. Something pulls loose here in these valves. Soap, you could wash hands here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and pull my gloves off here. And I'm just gonna go inside and wash there just because we've got a line behind us and I don't want to be an inconsiderate camper today. Basically, the way I do it is I pull one hand off with this, but I leave my hand in here to grab this. So I'm not touching this orange part where I touched anything and hold it like this. And I'm gonna put these in a separate compartment because I don't wanna put these in with the sewer hose. So these goes into a separate compartment here where we keep extra parts and things like that. Let's go inside and wash hands. Ew. All right, one last step. So we've dumped, but because we're getting ready to go down the road and especially because in our particular situation tonight, we're going to be boondocking, but really this goes regardless because when you park, you keep your black tank closed, even if you have full hookups, which we'll go over that in a future video. But we need to put some chemicals into the black tank. So the way to do that is I'm gonna grab my treatment from down here. This is the TST Max from Camco. These are available on Amazon and we'll put the link below for these on Amazon. So I'm gonna grab one of these powder packets and I'm gonna put this down the toilet. Ignore the messy toilet right now. But um, you wanna have some water in your black tank because you don't wanna just stick this into a dry tank. We just dumped it and you really want some liquid in your tank to help break down the toilet paper and any other waste because this is gonna help break all that stuff down. So I'm actually gonna fill the bowl right now with some water, which is what I'm doing with this foot pedal. And then I'm gonna put this in and then I'm gonna drop all of that into the black tank. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water in there so that we've got some good water in there while we're going down the road. Now, another tip that some people do to use to help keep that black tank clean if you're going down the road is to put some ice in there and that ice can just kind of help agitate any liquid that's in there, scrape anything off the walls if there's anything in there. Um, I'm not gonna do that today because we haven't had any issues with odor, but that is something that you can do once that you've dumped your black tank before that you go on the road that can help keep that black tank clean. So I'm gonna wash a second time now after touching the chemicals so we can get moving. Oh, this is lovely. These are two oh. left hand 